I'm Rooney Mara, and I play Ona Friesen in Women Talking. Yes, she does. I'm Claire Foy, and I play Salome Friesen in Women Talking. We never say our last name. I know. Names. It's weird, isn't it? Salome <laughs> is a very passionate, engaged um, woman. <laughs> she um, she doesn't suffer fools. She doesn't um, pull any punches. She's pretty um, remarkable in the sense that she, if she sees an injustice, she wants to fight it, she wants to change it, and she wants to change these women. And um, yeah, I love her. Um, Ona is sort of uh, a little bit of an outsider in, in the community. She sort of does things in her own way while still having a very strong faith. Um, she's, she's a dreamer. Um, she's an empath, very sensitive, and I think she she's had a little bit more education than the other women, and it's just sort of has has a really um, really big consciousness all around. Mm. So, women talking is a story of a devoutly religious community, um, and uh, the women of the community have. Uh, discovered um, that they have been being raped um, continually for a period of years um, by the men of the colony. And this is a conversation that the women are having as representatives of the rest of the colony about how to move forward from this moment, whether they stay and fight, whether they stay and do nothing, or whether they choose to leave and, and start a new colony. Sarah is just, you know, brilliant. She's an incredibly complex, um, layered, brilliant, self-aware human. She's an incredible writer. She's, um, I think she was so thoughtful in so many of the different important um, themes of this story. I think it's things that she'd been thinking about for years and years. and. Um, she took so much time and care in cultivating the right group of people, not just the cast, but the crew as well, to create this environment where, um, where we could make it in, in a special way. It was dreamy. There was an element of really upping, upping my game, it felt like. Um, but it was amazing to be part of something where everybody was there for the right reasons. Everybody wanted to, to be there for Sarah as well, like to support Sarah in her endeavor. Um, that was an amazing feeling that the crew especially, I felt like they were all behind her and this movie and us felt so supported. Um, and uh, yeah, it was a really unique and special experience to be really held by all these people and knowing that we were all there for each other. Every time, you know, you'd catch someone's eye in a scene, everyone was there, everyone was with you um, and vice versa. It just, yeah, it was very supportive. One of the things I loved about the book and what I love about the film we made is it's not like declaring anything. It's not making a statement. It's opening doors to conversation. And, and so I, people are going to take lots of various things from it. And that's, I think, what's special about it. I think the women in the film haven't accepted the unacceptable uh, in their own minds. I think that this, this conversation comes out of a very critical moment where two of the girls have discovered that this, what they have maybe suspected was happening, is happening. And that happens very quickly. I try and kill them all. And then they get sent to the, the town to, to the, you know, to try and um, decide what to do with them, um, with the perpetrators. But I don't think, I think that we all accept the unacceptable when we're in a society where a group of people are oppressed and there isn't um, gas equality. And on, gaslit, yeah. yeah, I think that these women have lived in a community where they are supposed to be being, they can't read or write. They've been oppressed for such a long time. Um, and, you know, they have this catalyst to, 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 co like, to face it. Um, right. I don't think there's anything that they've been naive about or anything they have been ignorant of. I think it's just this has awakened them to it. I know for me it was, it was a profound experience I know I learned so much from it. I don't know that I have the words or like the one thing. I don't know that I have the perspective yet to say the one thing. I mean, I, I know one thing for me it was really it was my first job as a working mom. And so um, I wasn't sure if it was going to be possible to ever work again. Mm -hmm. um, still not, but yet, <laughs> while I was making this, I was like, yeah, it is, it, it is, it might be, it is. So mm -hmm. Maybe it was that, I don't know. Yeah.
I think that's the, the I think I learned a lot from Sarah um, and all the women in the film um, and the men in the film and I think that it's been a really interesting I don't know where I go from here basically with the knowledge that I have from making this film and the way this film was made mm. I don't really know what's gonna happen next and how that's gonna show itself and how it's gonna be from the knowledge and of I now know the utopia that can be <laughs> what making a film can be um, yeah. let's hope it's not a disappointment it's all I'm <laughs> it's downhill from here